Whenever you create a group in Photoshop, you might have noticed that a new blend mode pops up by the name of pass through. Now what is pass through and how is it different from normal and how can you use that difference to your advantage especially during compositing. All this and more so without any further ado, let's get started. So here we are in Photoshop and if you want to download any other photos shown in the video, make sure to go ahead and check the links in the description. So first of all, let me actually show you what it actually is. Alright, so let's go ahead and create a curves adjustment layer. Click on the adjustment layer icon and choose curves. Now let's create a simple S curve, right? Now if you put this inside a group, watch what happens, Control or Command G, there's this new blend mode called Pass Through, okay? Now what is Pass Through? Let's understand what pass through actually is. When you have pass through selected for a group, it allows any projective element to pass through, just as the name suggests. Or in other words, we can say that a group starts acting like there is no group. So the whole function of the group becomes just organization, right? So you create a group just for organization purposes when you choose pass through, or if you wanna apply a particular kind of layer or effect as a clipping mask, to that group, all right? So pass through lets any projective element, I'm gonna say that again, any projective element pass. Make sense? No, let me show you an example. So right now you can see the effect of curves. Even though the curves is inside a group, you can see the effect of curves on this image which is outside the group. Now if you select the group and change the blend mode of this one to normal, have a look what happens. You cannot see the effect of the curve outside of the group. And that's what normal is. So when you have a group with normal blend mode selected, it doesn't let any projective element pass. The layers are still there, right? If you go ahead and create a new layer and just try to paint over there, you can still see it. The layers are still there because it's not projective. It just stops the travel of projective elements. Now you might ask, what is projective element? Well, projective element can be anything. It can be adjustment layers, it can also be blend modes, anything which is projective and is affecting any layer that is beneath it is a projective element. Let's go ahead and delete these two and let's create a simple solid color adjustment layer, all right? And let's fill it with red. And let's change the blend mode of this one to overlay, all right. Now, as you can see, no effect. If we select the group, change the blend mode from normal to pass through, we can see the effect of overlay. We can see the effect of overlay getting through. If there was no group, the effect would be like that. So it starts acting like there is no group. So when you have a group with normal, one more statement, when you have a group with normal selected, it starts to act as if it was merged let me make it sense for you. So if we go ahead and create a new layer and probably decrease the opacity of this one, okay? Decrease the opacity of this one. The blend mode is still overlay. And then take it up and in this layer, we paint in with some different colors, say green. And you'll see the effect of overlay over there, right? Uh, probably dark green and shades of green like that. I'm just randomly doing stuff, all right? The effect of overlay, as you can see, if we choose normal, is just on this one, but the opacity is on the background layer as well, right? So opacity we can say is not projective, but blend modes are. Now, if you have blend mode like pass through, you see this one overlay is affecting this one as well as the background layer. But when you have normal selected, it just affects that one. In other words, we can say, let's change it to pass through. If we merge this group, Select the group, press Ctrl or Command E. Look, it returns to as it was when the blend mode was normal, right? So we can say that when you have normal selected as a blend mode for a group, it acts as if it's merged or in other words, a Photoshop document of its own. Now let me give you some real world example of this, of how this can be useful, especially in compositing. So here we have an example. I've created a simple composite very quickly. Let me show you the construction first and then we'll discuss the groups, okay? So this was the background. I removed the people, added some snow, added some more snow, added the subject and then changed the saturation because it was not matching. 
applied some curves to match it even more and then more snow more snow that's what i did very simple but it looks very complex this clipping mask over there it's 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 complex and if you want to apply an effect now an adjustment layer for example say vibrance or hue saturation or even curves and you want to do something like this and now you just cannot clip it you just cannot and if you want to apply it to the snow as well you just cannot clip it just to the subject it's not possible right now you have to create a group and that's why we suggest that what you do instead of creating all these clipping masks and all that stuff creating complex stuff make it simple make a group of all of this okay select all of them what i did was select the first one and then hold the shift and select the last one that you want to select. Everything in the row will be selected automatically. Then press Ctrl or Command G. So we created the group. Now change the blend mode of this one from pass through to normal. Now everything that you see inside the group will be limited to the subject because it acts as if it is merged or it is its own Photoshop document isn't that exciting now you can turn this off turn this off do whatever you want you can also go ahead and remove this clipping mask so uh, hold the alter option and just click on the line between them remove them so it's it's good you can apply them you don't have to worry about clipping masks and stuff you can do anything you want decrease the saturation increase the saturation it is limited to that group so the moral of the story is whenever you're creating a composite and you have different elements what you can do you can create groups for separate elements and have all the adjustments particular to that element inside of that group all right and change the blend mode of that group to normal when you do that any adjustment blend mode and all that stuff will be limited to that group of that element so you don't have to create those complex clipping masks and all that stuff all the time right it will make your work much more easier. I hope this video made sense to you and if it did, please consider sharing and also like the video if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe, ring the bell so that you my friend don't miss a thing. I would take this awesome moment to thank all these nice people for making this episode possible and making Pix Imperfect free for everybody forever. Thank you so much guys for joining in. I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.